And this is what he says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So he's writing so that we can know that we have eternal life, and he's writing so that we believe on the name of the Son of God. This might refer to unbelievers, that he wants unbelievers to believe on the name of the Son of God. And it could also refer to us that we need to continue to believe in the Son of God. Not only for salvation, but for our lives right now. It's very important to understand this as well. That yes, God saved us. Yes, he washed us clean of all of our sins. But it doesn't end there. He didn't just give us the gift of eternal life but he gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit and he gave us new life right now the Holy Spirit quickened me the Holy Spirit made me alive and now I am alive once again to God and the law that I couldn't fulfill before I can finally fulfill because I have the Holy Spirit inside of me and I'm alive now I used to be dead to God, and I used to be dead in my spirit, but now I am alive to God, and the Holy Spirit lives inside of me, and the Holy Spirit can set me free from sin, and it can give me the power to fulfill the law, which I previously could not. He wants us to fulfill the law, how? Not through the letter, but through the Spirit and through love. The Apostle Paul tells us in Galatians chapter 5, he says, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not your liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the laws fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So we have been called to liberty. We have been called for, to freedom. We're free from the law. We don't have to be under the law anymore. But he doesn't want us to use that freedom and that liberty to live in sin and break the law. He wants us to love one another, but by love, serve one another. And what will happen when we love each other? We will fulfill the law. The law is fulfilled by love. It's very important. If you, if you don't want someone to lie to you, if you don't want someone to steal from you, if you don't want someone to kill you, if you don't want someone to covet yours, why do you do the same thing to somebody else? Because you are not loving that person as yourself. If you love that person, you would not commit sin against that person. A person who is filled with love and filled with the Holy Spirit doesn't need someone to tell him, don't lie, don't steal, don't go kill somebody, don't do all of this. He has no desire to do these things. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Love doesn't do anything bad to his neighbor. That's why love is the fulfillment of the law. But where do I find love? Where do I find this love? In the Spirit. That's what he says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So what do we need to do to be set free from sin? We need to walk in the Spirit and be filled with the Holy Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. All of these are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Christ lives inside of me. When I believed on His name, He gave me a new heart. And He took that law that used to be written upon paper and stone, and He wrote that law upon my heart by sending His Son into my heart. And now I have a new spirit and a new heart. And that new heart will direct me. And that new heart will teach me what to do. And I will be set free from the desire to commit sin. A person who lives under the law wants to go and commit sin. But he forces himself not to commit sin by forcing himself. And he has fear. God will punish him. And that's why he doesn't fulfill the law. It's the same way that people live upon earth now. Why don't you steal? Why don't you kill? Because you know that someone is going to catch you and punish you for the sins that you are committing. And because people don't want to be punished, they don't commit those crimes. But if they want to go and commit the crime, but they know that they're going to get caught and that they're going to be punished. So because of that fear, they don't commit those crimes. But we have a new heart. We have a new spirit. And we don't have a desire to go and commit those sins because we're new people. And we received a new heart when we believed in God's Son, Jesus Christ. When we believed in His name, God the Father sent the Holy Spirit inside of us and He gave us a new man. He gave us a new heart and He set us free from sin. 
and he made us new people. His son Jesus Christ lives inside of me and Christ is holy and he doesn't want to commit sin. He is righteous and when I abide in Christ, when I walk in the spirit, I have new desires. I want to serve God. I want to serve others. I don't want to commit sin. I see sin in a new light. I see it dark. I see it appalling and I want nothing to do with it. And that is the kind of state that we want to be in. We want to grow in the new man and we want to stay in the new man. And the more we have fellowship with Jesus Christ and the more we allow him to come out, the brighter and brighter we will shine and the less power sin will have upon us. I don't have to try to change myself or become better. I just need to die to myself and believe in Jesus Christ and believe in the new man that I have inside of me. I don't, need to be, I don't need to try to make myself better. Christ lives inside of me and he set me free from sin. And when I spend time with him, he will awake inside of me. And he won't just, he'll take away the desire to commit sin. When you're with God, you don't have a desire to commit sin. You have new desires, godly desires that come from the Holy Spirit. So this is the important that we need to know. We need to not only believe in Jesus Christ, that's great. We believe in Jesus Christ and we're saved, but we need to believe in Him now. We need to trust in Him with all of our hearts right now. Believe in Him every single day, not only for salvation, but for sanctification and for your life. You trust in Him. He is your friend and you have fellowship with Him. You believe in Him today, every single day, every single hour. And the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, he can raise us from the death of sin. Let's turn to the He says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. God wants us to have confidence. We can know that we have eternal life. Why? Because we believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Next time we will go through more of this letter.